Hello and welcome back to our Bandit Lord playthrough and I have installed Forbury. Forbury is what it's called. Obviously the pronunciation that I am currently providing is probably wrong. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it's me. But I have not explored this at all, okay? I have not explored this at all. I just know that there are a whole host of features available and I'd very much like to experience those alongside you at the same time. So that's the reason why I haven't really done anything. So you can see here that we currently have a villainy rating of zero out of 19 points. And as far as I am aware, the higher that you increase your villainy rating, the more activities you're going to gain access to. So for example, if I were to select this, you can see here that there is a scam. I basically can only do a scam at the moment and that is no doubt going to increase my villainy rating of some kind. And you can see here as well that you can also take control of some areas in the town to move in. To the town itself and I have obviously no idea what that's all about but I am very intrigued by this if you'd like to take a look at the mod there is a link in the description highly recommended definitely one of the one of the more innovative mods um, I mean well to be fair I think the modding community is fantastic in general but this is this is going one step further and just providing so much in the way of a playstyle for a bandit character and I very much appreciate that. So yeah, as you can see right here, look at this. Force Tribute, you need a relation of 6 plus with Iria the Widow who is this child here. <laughs> and uh, then you, Notable Extortion, you need a relation of uh, 10 plus with Iria the Wid Widow once again. So obviously she has a a task at the moment the gang needs recruits apparently so yeah we're going to have to do a wide variety of things to try and appease her as much as possible and also arrange a plot so look at that loyalty of the town must be below or equal to 45 so the lower your loyalty is with the town the better that's actually kind of interesting all right so now that we've taken a look a brief look shall we say at some of the options let's do a scam let's see what happens Aha, here we go. Your criminal rating with Sturgia has increased. Your attempt was a complete fail. You're being beaten up by the guards and kicked out of the town. You lost some dinars as well. Ouch. Okay, yeah, so obviously there is that. That does happen. Uh, and we must apparently wait five days before we can perform another scam. But let's see whether we can actually do something in any of the villages. I'm actually wondering whether towns and villages have different... Mm, different things associated with them. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go back to Omor real fast because I do need to do some tasks for Iria here. So hello, um, <laughs> young young girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, not entirely sure why she's the gang leader, but okay, yes, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with this. All right, so let's have a look. I need men who understand how things work in our business, and that's not always easy to find. That's what she sounds like, by the way. Very accurate. I could use bandits and looters. They usually know their stuff, but if I take them in as prisoners, they'll just slip away as soon as I get the chance. I need volunteers. Uh, okay, I see. What do you want from me, then? Okay, give you a bounty for each one that signs up. Uh, you can also send me a recruiter, a trustworthy companion. Okay, I'll find your recruits. Okay, so... I don't even understand this quest, to be honest. Uh, okay, so delivered recruits. She asked you to bring nine looters or bandits who you have recruited into your party. Aha, uh -huh, that's actually interesting. Okay, I actually don't know. I brought you a few men. I think I actually have um, a few. As you can see right here, I actually have some brigands and some Sea Raider warriors and some highwaymen. And that is it because the rest are all custom units so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to give her all of them um but uh we're going to try we're going to try our very very best here so i'm going to try and find some looters here we go here we go we got a couple and i'm just going to auto resolve against these guys to try and capture them as fast as possible okay wait a minute wait a minute here you go so this is also to do with forbury here so you can see here i'm looking for some new lads let's have a talk uh, you're not really known here. Increase your criminal rating, roguery skill, or criminal network. Yeah, that's all to do with the mod. And uh, yeah, otherwise we're just going to attack, you know, because that's what we do. We just attack them straight up and we're just going to do that. And then hopefully we will be able to uh, persuade them to join us 
um, relatively fast. Oh yes, by the way, I've changed my troop trees because there was a bunch of people that said, why are you just copying the template of other troops in the game? Why don't you customize your units? Okay, so the main reason why I didn't want to customize is generally because I have a very hard time resisting the urge to min-max. In other words, I, uh, I have a difficult time holding back when it comes to specking points into the best possible skills and making them the best they possibly can be. By the way, I don't know whether you've noticed, but this guy has been renamed. Yes, he was. Um, he used to be called the uh, Bear Raider, I believe. Now he's called Bear Grills, because why not? Right? Why not? Because he has a two-handed axe. He's, a, he's our shock trooper, by the way. He is indeed our shock trooper. He is our highest tier unit. And as you can see, he has 120 in throwing, athletics, riding, and two-handed. And this is what he's currently using. He's using Blackheart, which is like a two-handed axe. Pretty good. I mean, you can see the stats right there. It's not too bad. I mean, obviously, the swing speed is going to be quite slow. Uh, it does say it's a one hand. <laughs> This is what's really kind of weird about My Little Warband sometimes. Generally, when you are selecting a weapon, it will say that it's a one-handed, but it's actually not, because you can see here that obviously due to the class of the weapon, it says two-handed axe, which is exactly what it is. Anyway, so I've basically customized a wide variety of our um, units now, and basically every single one of them, with the very few exception, uh, are using the bare head the bear head helmet, because the bear head helmet, in my opinion, kind of sets us apart from a lot of the other units in the game, and it kind of gives us a bit of an identity, if you know what I mean. So you can see here that we have bear grills here, we have bear the bear thief here, the bear thug, and the bear looter. Unfortunately, the bear looter does not have the wolf, uh, not the wolf head, the, the bear head available to them because they are just so low level. But you can obviously see that I've changed a wide variety of their um, their equipment as well. So you can see here that this guy's now using an axe. This guy's also using the same axe with a with a very very low tier shield. He's also using some thrown weapons. This guy is using a, a spiked club and a Highland round shield as well as a harpoon. So I've given them a, a little bit, a couple of range weapons, and we've also done a little bit of customizing in terms of their statistics as well. And and I have I have heard calls for some female units as well, and that's exactly what I've done. So I've basically um, well I've basically changed the forest bandit template into a uh, into a female unit and in my opinion that's looking actually pretty cool i think that looks really really cool with the wolf head and um, even though the wolf head in my opinion is really awful it just looks so good I, I feel like it looks really in keeping with what we're trying to do with the whole bandit theme and i think it makes a whole bunch of sense for us to have two different types of uh, tier four unit because obviously on the one hand we have bear grills he's a big shock trooper guy and on the other hand we have these extremely highly accurate dead eye archers in the form of the bear banded archers and um yeah that in my opinion that's kind of cool right i think that's kind of cool at least if you don't then i apologize anyway there we go uh, i've also done a little bit of customizing with the bear um the the elite bears shall we say, and um, I don't have any tier 2 uh, elites to show you at the moment, but these guys are um, a little bit customized, I didn't really change their gear that much, the only thing that I changed was the fact that they're wearing a bear, a bear head, and it's the same thing from uh, this guy as well, I went all the way back and just basically changed, changed him too, changed the lowest tier, and also the highest tier is now changed into a bear elite marauder, because someone said that um, the highest tier unit looks way too Kuzate. And I agree, actually. I agree. It did look way too Kuzate. And so I have changed that as well. And I've also changed their their chest armor too. So that it makes them look a little bit less like Kuzate units. And a little bit more like something else. Um, generally, I'm not sure whether it's okay to use a step warhorse. I think it's okay to use a step warhorse. But let me know what you think about that anyway because may, I, I can always change it you know there, there's a, a wide variety of, of um, control in regards to what we can do so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that anyway let's have a look uh, yep we have one one extra person that is going to join us and I 
Uh, I think I'm going to be able to get... Yes, I got another one already. That is super, super fast. I love that. Okay, so now let's go and speak to Iria. She's going to be very pleased, no doubt. There we go, two looters, and that is all we needed to do. And there we go, she's given us 2,000 gold. We've increased our charm skill a little bit, and we've also increased our relation with her by, well, not, not a significant amount, but a, a decent amount that now allows us to do forced tribute, which I think we will try. Okay, wait a minute. Local gang leader Iria the Widow has a job for you. You must gently collect some funds for a noble cause and will be paid accordingly. All right, let's do it. He's wondering if you can manage it by yourself. Maybe you need some help? Naturally, the paycheck will be halved. No, I'm good. Oh, no. Oh, dear. You don't see your contact, but only a group of mercenaries. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I, am I literally going to go in there by myself? I only have this. Okay, wait. I'm going to have to change. Is this a civilian weapon? Yeah, that is a civilian weapon. I'm going to have to switch to that by the looks of things because I don't think I have anything else. Oh, all of these are actually all civilian weapons too. Um, well, actually just these, the pickaxe and the hatchet. Mm, yeah, I could use... No, these are awful. Yeah, 41 cutting damage. It seems like that is probably the best that I'm going to get. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this. And we're just going to hope that um, everything's going to work. You don't see your contact with only a group of mercenaries. Okay, let's do this. I wonder whether my companion is going to come in and help me, actually. I'm um, <laughs> crossing my fingers and hoping that that is indeed the case. Because if she does not come and help us... Am I by myself? Oh dear. I am by myself. And I don't even have thrown weapons. And I don't have a shield. Well, this is this is bad. Oh, hello, sirs. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, th thank goodness I have a lot of athletics. Oh, I don't have that much athletics. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to get murdered. I am murdered. No. Okay, yeah, that's... No, I'm sorry. That's way, way too difficult for one person, especially one that is, um, well, as low level as I am. But, oh, look at that. We actually did increase our relation with her, amazingly. And we also increased our roguery skill, and our criminal rating has increased. So even if... We uh, didn't, um, well, so even if we fail, we still gain a little bit of something right there. Okay, Bruce has been taken prisoner by the Sturgeons. Well, for a very small amount of time, by the looks of things. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> obviously, I'm pretty bad, if you can, uh, you know, obviously guess. I'm pretty bad at fighting in the streets because, well, one... I'm not used to it. And two, I really do need a better weapon. That weapon was something that I literally just scavenged from my inventory. I'm going to need to make something, I think. Maybe smith it or maybe find something a little bit better in a marketplace somewhere. Anyway, we now have the ability to spec into roguery a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to take Two-Faced. This is something that was recommended by one of you in the comments as well. And I wholeheartedly agree that converting bandit prisoners without suffering any morale penalty is a super, super powerful um, advantage to it. Otherwise, it's just this, double the amount of betting you can use in tournaments. Personally, I think that double, doubling the amount of betting that I can use in tournaments is going to be super amazing for making money. But in the end, I'm not really going to need money, and I won't need morale either. But in the early stages, I think Two-Faced is probably going to be better. And we're also going to take this. Uh, let's have a look. Increase any relationship gain with the same gender. Going to be doing that. And what is this? Recruitment costs, party consumes... 10% less food, I guess we'll do that. There we go. Okay, yeah. So that didn't go exactly to plan. Oh, look at this. We can actually do noble extortion. Wait a minute. You may keep any dinars that the notables will give you. Uh, actually, I'm too injured to do this at the moment. So let me actually just rest up slightly. And then we're going to go in there and see if we can maybe do something. Because obviously my villainy, or shall we say, shall we say my criminal rating is increasing ever so slightly. So yeah, I just wish that I could take my companion into the streets because if I just had one additional person, it would make a huge difference. It doesn't even matter whether they're even any good or even any useful you know, bit here. It's literally just a case of me having one additional person. Okay, wait a minute. Am I, am I, am I doing it or? 
No, apparently not. Uh, okay. I actually don't... I actually don't know. I actually don't know what's going on there. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I, I guess I'm going to go on to somewhere, somewhere else. Let's go on to Varcheg, because I'm obviously going to attempt to build my criminal empire within Sturgia. I think that sounds like a... That sounds like a pretty decent plan, don't you think? Maybe. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. Well, whatever the case, we will find out shortly. Maybe I'm going to have another quest to do here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, let's do a scam. Yeah, there we go. Your scam was a success. We gained some roguery skill, we gained some charm skill. You got some dinars and improved your roguery skill. Fantastic. And look at that, we have one out of 29 villainy. And now we're going to help the... Uh... <laughs> the child once again with a task there we go all right yeah i don't really care how much you uh, you want to pay me to be honest i am gonna do this no matter what if you pay me one gold or pay me what 10 million i'll, I'll do it because you know generally i just want the relation with this particular npc anyway let's go into the hideout wait for nightfall to attack and uh, oh yeah by the way there is actually something to do here in these hideouts as well so me me going here and actually attacking this yeah, yeah. I, I don't know whether this is actually good to do, but I suppose because it is indeed a case of, well, this is, you know, this is a quest, you know, it's kind of necessary, right? Okay, well, whatever the case, I am going to only take five units plus myself in to the actual hideout. Yes, because I, I want this to be a challenge. I don't want it to be super, super easy. You know what I mean? And um, I think personally, Bear Grylls is probably going to do a fantastic job. I mean, let's face it. He's probably going to do a great job. And oh, yeah, I'm using this terrible sword, aren't I? Mm. Well, it's actually not a bad sword. I I'm being a little bit unfair. It's not a bad sword. It's just really bad against four enemies. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, of course it is. But yeah, these uh, these guys are going to absolutely murder every single person in my way. You know what? I should really get a mace. I think a mace would probably be really good. Nice headshot. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I should probably get a mace. So I think what I'm going to do is when we're next near a town, I mean, obviously I'm near a town right now, but when we're next near a town, I'm going to check out the marketplace, see if I can potentially find a mace that can be used in the streets as well as in battles. And then we're going to see how, uh, how we do with that, because I think that that's probably going to be a little bit more advantageous than using a sword, even though if you think about the situation that we had to face in that street fight. And there we go. Sorry, I just had to <laughs> just had to shut up for a second while I aimed at that guy. But uh, yes, um, yeah, if you think about that situation, we were obviously outnumbered. So what's the best way to beat so many enemies at once? Well, having a long ranged weapon is usually the best thing that you can do. In other words, Having something that's longer than the enemy and then being able to outrange them while still dealing damage. The main problem obviously also was the fact that they were able to block many of my attacks when I even attempted to make contact. Which did make things even more difficult than it otherwise would have been as well. Because obviously if one of them is left open then another one is going to try and cover that person you know what i mean so one attacks but then there's they're, they're standing so close to each other that they're able to block for each other you know what i mean that's the kind of thing that generally tends to happen quite often in cases like that it happens in tournaments as well i don't know whether you've noticed that but whenever you're in a tournament and you have two enemies against you and you're trying to fight them they're both in melee with you but you try to you try to attack one, but then the other one blocks for him. You know what I mean? It, it, it can happen. It can happen very easily. Anyway, um, I'm actually thinking we will go for a duel against this guy because I think that might be kind of fun. It's kind of like a a rising bandit lord versus the current established mountain bandit boss. I think that sounds pretty fun. So let's do that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I was trying to be fancy. Yeah, I was trying to be fancy. I mean, you saw that, right? <laughs> I was trying to be like, oh, yes, I'm going to run away from him. And I decided to run away up the hill. Yes, I tried. I decided to run away up the hill. That that is probably the worst thing that you can do. Don't don't do what I just did. That is embarrassing. Very embarrassing indeed. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try and recruit some people now because obviously I don't have to pay any morale penalties any further, which is actually super nice. I will take all the loot, and there we have it. And now we have completed the task, which is great. So let's see. Do I gain a decent amount? of relation with her. Yes, I do. Okay, that's great. Also, oh yeah, by the way, apart from uh, Forbury being uh, one of the mods that I installed, I also installed RTS camera, and I also installed um, extra looters. Yes, extra looters. So you may see some larger bandit stacks on the, uh, on the world map now as a result of that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, we still can't do anything. Oh, because we need to actually do tasks for this gang leader and unfortunately she doesn't have anything for us at the moment okay well as i said let's probably just take a quick look at what we can get here i'd like to take a look at some of the civilian weapons a falchion hmm this might actually be somewhat good but you, you've got to bear in mind look at this okay look at the length of this thing it's really bad right it's really bad but the speed alone might actually be worth it. Hmm. This is actually really good. Simple Bastard Sword. That's actually really good. I'm surprised. What? How is this so good? Okay, well, yeah. Uh, all of these can be used as civilian. So it might be really, really useful for us to do something like that. Um, maybe... Is there an axe that I can use or a hammer? I mean, I don't really want to use one of these, like a blacksmith hammer or something like that. That's just absolutely useless. So I'm probably going to have to do something like what I just suggested. Yep, yep, I will have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to probably end up using the simple bastard sword because that has decent length and it also has decent swing speed. It's basically better across the board than what I'm currently using. And it does decent damage as well. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. Yes. So we will be purchasing one of those. And then I will be placing it there. And we're going to be equipping that tapered blade. That's what I was using before, right? Do I need to buy two of these or, or what? Yeah, it seems like I need to buy two of these. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so I was using a tapered blade before. Okay, so let's just equip this. I don't really want a horse. Do I Do I want a horse? Can I actually use a horse in the streets? I mean, if I can use a horse in the streets, then maybe that's super, super powerful. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it and see what happens. I mean, we can always get off if we, uh, if we don't want to. Uh, do they have any shields that I can use in the streets? Highly unlikely, right? There's no way that they'll give me access to those but they will give me access to throwing weapons which might actually make sense because these guys don't have shields so if i have throwing weapons i might have a really really good shot at killing them before they even reach me all right i think that seems pretty good okay so i'm i'm quite happy with how that's gone so far let's see if we can maybe find a uh, bandit hideout or something like that because you can interact with these things now that you have um this mod installed so let's see whether there's actually another bandit hideout along here or something like that and we can also obviously check to see whether there's another task from a gang leader here and we can also do a potential scam and stuff like that ah i think there is a um the hi a hideout over here oh these guys there's a lot of them actually this is this is actually kind of interesting wow vilda died in battle that's pretty early. <laughs> that is pretty early. Okay, I'm going to increase my roguery skill because why Why wouldn't I, right? Let's increase my roguery skill. Let's get another point in cunning. My one-handed actually reached 200 skill, which is pretty nice. And we're also going to be increasing our combat movement speed by 5%. All right, let's attack. This is going to be a pretty significant battle, I got to say. Kind of interesting. Okay, so she's mounted. Uh... I didn't know that she actually had... Yeah, I, I didn't know that, actually. 
Um, okay, I guess I'm going to have to switch Bruce to this and then switch her over here. Does she have any any cavalry? Yeah, melee damage slightly. Melee damage slightly, but that's basically it. Do we have anything? Yeah, we have a massive amount. Okay, that's pretty fine. Yeah, so I'm going to be getting off my mount uh, as we... <laughs> where where are we? <laughs> where are we? Anyway, as we progress towards the opponent, bear in mind these are literal sea raiders, so they can be very, very strong. And I'm going to get off my mount... And this is obviously my new sword. Mm, I actually like it. It's it's pretty 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 swift to uh, to swing. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And let's get my forces over here. I have no regular cavalry. I literally just have horse archers. Okay, well that's perfectly fine. Horse archers are obviously pretty strong, so we should be okay. But uh, now here's the thing: the big big deal here is if I can achieve victory, I will most likely have a wide variety of things and I'm, I'm talking about units to uh to gain here and this is going to be very very important for us i'm gonna I'm gonna tell these guys to charge in right now and i'm gonna use some thrown weapons myself uh, these thrown weapons are awful i'm gonna have to get some some other ones in my opinion and let me see can i do some damage with this oh really are you serious right now Okay, I'm going to tell my infantry to charge in, and we're probably going to... No, don't die. Okay, yeah. Whew. Okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off my mount in just a second. My Bear grills guys are absolutely murdering everything by the looks of things. Okay, are you going to lower your shield? Any time now? No? They were so sneaky. Did you see that? They were literally just like, nope, nope, nope. Not gonna, not gonna lower my shield. Not for anything. Did you see that? That was so incredibly. <laughs> I was really smart of them, actually. To be fair, that was very, very smart because they were like, oh yeah, this guy's, he's using thrown weapons. We don't want to get shot in the face by a javelin or anything like that. I don't blame them, to be honest. I don't blame them. But there, there you go. We were able to achieve victory, and we now have the opportunity to uh, capture 20 prisoners, and among them, 11 are Sea Raider Chiefs, which is just a crazy, crazy number. It really is. That's going to be super nice for us. We're going to recruit these Hillmen as well. And look at that. That's actually a really nice piece of armor right there too. So I'm actually just going to upgrade Bruce. Now look at him. Look at him. He looks fantastic. Now, now we no longer have to see his muscular legs. I'm sure you're very disappointed. I know I am. Anyway, let's see if we can go over to the bandit hideout. If there is actually one. I mean, there were so many in this area, there must be a hideout nearby, surely. No? I mean, I'm not seeing one right now. Really? Really? Nothing? Okay. Uh, maybe over here? Maybe in this little little piece of forest, potentially? I, You know, I've got to admit, I've never been over here. In all my time playing Bannerlord, I've never actually gone to the west of... Um, Ustakol Castle, because, I mean, why would you, right? I mean, there's there's really no there's really no point, and apparently there is no point because there's no bandit hideout here either, which is somewhat unfortunate. Anyway, um, I don't have auto allocate on this time. Okay, so we are going to be selecting all of our uh, companion skills, and that's going to be pretty interesting in my opinion. So let's have a look. We're going to go for knockoff, in my opinion. It's going to knock some cavalry off their mounts. And we're also going to be going for powerful here. And what else do we want to go for? Increase maneuvering. And increase your mounts hit points. I think that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, so I'm basically trying to find a, um, a hideout right now. Mainly because I'd like to try to you know, uh, maximize the use of the Forbury mod, because obviously that allows some unique interactions with the bandit hideout. And hopefully we're going to be able to do something about that. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can scam this. And there doesn't seem, unfortunately, to be any tasks available from the gang leaders here. So we're just going to do a scam and we'll see what we can do. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Your attempt was a complete fail. You're being beaten up by the guards and kicked out of the town. Okay, well, that's uh, that's perfectly fine. I don't really mind too much about that because we generally kind of expect that at this point because, you know, things happen. But, um, yeah, hopefully we're going to be able to... You know what? Maybe I should go into the um, into the town itself. 
that might actually be a good idea. Considering I now have that new weapon, I might be able to make a good go of things. Let's do another scam here while we're at it. Your scam was a success. Very good. Okay, so... Backstreet 4. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We are literally going to go... And we are going to try and drive out one of these gang leaders. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining me, Akadria. Very good indeed. I am very much looking forward to... Uh, <laughs> to uh, exploring the town with you. Um, what, what, what are these icons, okay? Uh, <laughs> they used to be text, okay? It used to be text way back. Um, and I haven't been into a town since they upgraded, I suppose, since they upgraded the icons, or should we say the, the text, into these uh, symbols and things like that. I mean, obviously I can tell wh where, where quests are and stuff like that. And there's a barber right here as well. Uh, but I can't tell which which one is the back street that I want to go to, you know what I mean? Because obviously there is a number of back streets in the area, and I would like to be able to attack a certain one. I don't want to attack one that is, uh, you know, by the person that we want to actually work with. That is the, uh, that is the main problem. Uh, I'm just passing through what goes on here. Melia the mouse. Uh, I think she's the good one, right? Yes, Slowhand Vasinya is who we want to deal with. Okay, so we're not going to go there again. So Melee the Mouse is the good one. So if we find the back street that is uh, is hers, then obviously we are not going to go there and we're not going to attack her people. Let me just speed things up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Hello there, sir. Okay, wait a minute. Aha, there we go. All right, so this is the guy that we want to murder. Um... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you you heard nothing, Mr. Thug. I was uh, speaking to um, no one. Uh, we will now be attacking you. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, uh, that's it? Yep, that was it. Okay, fantastic. You've cleared some members of a gang. And I can't read the rest because the, uh, the little... <laughs> the little icon is over there. There we go. Of a territory that they claim. Do you want to stay here to make sure the others don't try to take it back? Yes, I do. You see some rough-looking men start to gather some distance away. You suspect that they are waiting for reinforcements and building up their courage for a fight. You are waiting for them to come closer. All right. So before we do that, I just want to give Ekadria her one-handed skill. Uh, let's see. Larger shield protection, I suppose. And what else do we have going on here? Yeah, it's just really unfortunate that I'm not able to uh, take any of my regular units into the fight itself, you know, because that would be very, very useful. Uh, I do need to get some more companions, though. That's the point. I do need to get some more companions, but here's the thing. I'm going to attempt, if I can, to try and find companions that only specialize in roguery, like, for example, Akadria. Oh, there we go. What have we here? Who's you thrash some of my lads? Once again, she sounds like that. Okay, so let's do this. Do you wish to stand and confront them? Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, surely there's not only three of them, right? No, it can't be, right? Because, I mean, it's going to be three of them versus me in the back. Oh, we've actually got a bunch of my... They are going to get murdered. They are literally going to get murdered right here. I, I feel kind of bad um, attacking a child, though. i got to say that, to be honest. But um, Bear Grylls apparently has no problem with doing that. Uh, is she, like, immune? Is she immune to damage? Okay. Uh, yes, she is immune to damage. Um, yeah, as you can quite clearly tell. There seems to be a bug with my game. I think that's the main problem here, because the gang leaders, as you can no doubt tell, are children, and obviously because the game has protections to prevent children from being attacked, I can assume, at least, it's kind of like Skyrim in that, uh, in that aspect, unless you get a mod that changes it, 
Um, yeah, we are not going to be able to kill her, unfortunately, as you can see right here. So this is really not going to work out too well. Maybe I can use my thrown weapons against her? I don't think so, because... Yeah, that's, that's not going to really work. Nope. Unfortunate. Well, at least we know RTS camera is working. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing we can do. She's immune. She's literally invulnerable to damage. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunate. I, you know, I might have to... Um, I actually don't know what I can do from this point. Because I might have to restart... I might have to restart the series because there seems to be some weird thing going on with the fact that they are children. Like, for example, if I were to attack Melia, that would be okay because Melia is a grown-up woman. So she would obviously participate in the battle without too many difficulties and we would be able to eliminate her. But because um, Vicinia is a child, technically, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, that's actually really, really disappointing. I was very much hoping that we'd be able to take over a town and, and things like that, because obviously that's like, that's super fun, you know? That's really, really fun to do. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do that um, at the moment. So I, I guess I'm just going to try and continue scamming. I mean, you can see here, like, for example, I, I won't be able to deal with these either. So... I think that's a bug. I think that is indeed a bug. And I'm going to need to Google that and actually see what's going on with it. Because uh, as, far, as far as I'm aware, I think I heard about this a while a while ago. And I thought to myself, oh, thank goodness that's not happening to me. Because, you know, that really, um, that really makes a, a pretty huge difference in what you're currently able to do. Especially as a bandit. So, yeah... I, I guess, you know, I, I guess that's it for this episode because I uh, I don't really have anything else to do. I mean, I, I guess I can go to the hideout, right? I can guess I guess I can go to a bandit hideout or something like that. Let's do a scam. Yeah, my scam is always a, always a success here. Okay, let's... Um, uh, I'm actually going to say that I want some help this time. All right? I'm actually going to say we, we want some help because obviously me against four people, probably not the best idea. So I'm going to ask for some help this time. There we go. We got some master thugs and things like that. I do have thrown weapons this time though. And my thrown weapons actually deal some pretty good damage as you can see. 35 damage each hit. And that's not even a headshot. Oh my. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, these guys have no idea how to fight. That is so incredibly funny. Okay, that guy's dead, at least. And... Wow, oh, why is he blocking? It's, 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 it's almost like I'm fighting myself. He's blocking a thrown weapon. That's not going to work, sir. There we go. Alright, thankfully, I did, <laughs> I did get some help this time, and I was able to achieve victory, but... Yeah, what are we actually going to get for this, even? You looted the mercenaries and could find the promised funds. You brought everything back to the gang leader and received your paycheck. There we go. So I got a thousand. And I also got some tactic skill and some roguery skill. I very much appreciate that. And now I can, I can actually do robbery. Aha. Uh -huh. Local gang leader Melia the Mouse has a friend in Argaron that needs some support. Go there and check in the tavern district to meet your contact. We can also do an insurance scam as well. Invested in a caravan of Kiroslava the Ironmonger, and it makes no profit. Thankfully, there is an insurance contract running, but the caravan needs to actually disappear before receiving any indemnity. Ooh, okay. Requested you to escort the caravan. A bandit party has been hired to attack, the, uh, to, to attack and destroy it. Once the dirty job is done, attack the bandit party to remove any suspicion. <laughs> okay. That sounds, that sounds very, very fun. Okay, let's, let's do it. Uh, can I actually... Oh, where did they go? Did they go up here? Ah. Uh, go and make sure to not let any bandits escape. Well, I actually can't find them. Ah, uh, they were a bit too fast. So... 
I I have no idea where they went. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea where they went. I really don't. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Is, are, are these them? No, surely not, right? There's no way these are them. I'm just going to auto-resolve and, and attack them straight up. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think these are them, but um Oh well. <laughs> oh, never mind. Everything is everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong. Of course it is. Of course. Oh well. I would like to find a bandit hideout if at all possible. I think there's usually a bandit hideout uh around here, if I'm if I'm correct. So I'm gonna go over there and see if we can maybe interact with the bandit hideout. And then see what that actually gives us. Because I know that you are able to recruit looters and various other bandit units. And then you're also able to, to call for, for bandits and things to assist you in combat. And I think that's going to be super fun once we get everything working as intended. Because obviously at the moment, the, uh, the children problem is a bit of, a, bit of an issue. And that's not, that's not any of the mods fault, by the way, as far as I'm aware. That is literally just the, the base game having that, having that bug. Because I have, um, I've had these, these mods installed for a very long time. Um, and uh, generally the Forbury mod, that was not even installed when I started this series. So that is uh, not at fault either. So yeah, there's also that. Anyway, it doesn't seem like there's any bandit hideouts here. So it seems to me like I'm going to have to do a little bit of Googling and then we'll see what happens with the uh, the uh, children bug. Because if it is indeed a bug that I can fix, then obviously I'm going to try to do that. But if it isn't, then I will have to restart the series, which I am not pleased about, I've got to say, because I actually uh, very much enjoyed what we were doing. And I'm going to have to export my XML uh, file for the troops and, and all that stuff. Uh, because I very much like my, uh, my troops the way they are right now. I think that they're super, super good. Nice fun. You know, nice fun to use. And um, yeah, I would very much like to uh, keep them that way. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.